Alright guys, welcome back to the channel where today we have more info to share regarding Dota Bay 2K22 as not only do we have the latest ratings reveal, but we also have new details surrounding changes to gameplay and confirmation that the virtual crowd boards seen in the Thunderdome are included. Before we get to any of that though, if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with all the latest news on the game, please do hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss out on future videos. So let's start things off with the latest roster slash ratings reveal as following yesterday's reveal which seen Bobby Lashley rated an impressive 91, WWE Games offered me the opportunity to reveal today's superstar which was none other than the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre. As part of the reveal we got a screenshot of Drew making his way to the ring with Drew's rating revealed to be 91. The 91 rating puts Drew on par with Bobby Lashley and it really solidifies just how good a time he's had as Drew was one of a number of stars to really carry the promotion throughout a difficult period in the Thunderdome. Speaking of the Thunderdome, that brings us to our next piece of news as following on from the Operation Sports interview with WWE Games creative director Lionel Jinks and art director Christina Diem Pham, the pair recently took part in a separate interview with the guys over at Vibe in which they revealed more of what we can expect in WWE 2K22. Now before we get into any of this, if you want to check out the original interview then I'll leave a link to the Vibe channel in the video description so that you can check out the interview in full. As for this video, we're going to cover some of the main talking points to come out of the interview as listing some of the changes and the improvements that fans can expect, Christina revealed that almost every single star on the roster that they have access to has been rescanned, whilst those that haven't or that are no longer with us have received a touch up, hair has been improved, facial animations improved, cameras, lighting, VFX, environments and we have the confirmation of virtual crowd boards. That last point appears to confirm that we'll see the addition of the virtual crowd screens that we used in the Thunderdome despite the fact that all of the footage that we've seen so far has featured a live crowd. So thanks to Christina, we now know that the crowd screens will have a presence in the game, although we don't know how that presence will be, whether it'll be as a preset arena, in the creation suite or perhaps even an option within Match Creator. Going back to the point of new cameras, Jinx elaborated on this point, noting that he came up with the idea for the new cameras that are used during entrances and during cutscenes, with Jinx claiming that these new cameras mirror the production seen on WWE TV and they allow the player to get close to stars and really show off a perspective of just how big the arena is. Whilst we've yet to see the changes in the footage that has been shared, we have seen some small changes to the entrance camera as behind the scenes footage of Rey Mysterio's entrance included a visible camera shake as he made his way down to ringside, however given Jinx's comments it appears that there is a lot more to the changes that he was referring to. As for what they could be, I'm just speculating here but maybe we could see the 4K camera effect that WWE used in the Thunderdome or maybe even the addition of the augmented reality effects that they display during entrances like the giant Lily doll that we see for Alexa or the statue of Roman at the beginning of his entrance. Switching over to gameplay, Jinx confirmed that the gameplay engine has been completely redone this year which he says is something that they've always shied away from in the past as there is so many elements that go into a wrestling game that even the smallest of changes can cause issues, especially once you begin to factor in all the different match types and 8 players on screen. Thankfully though, Jinx says that this year they were able to change the way that they approached the gameplay and they pulled out all the stops to create a new fighting engine which he claims is evident from the moment that you pick up the control. To help players get to grips with the changes, when you load up the game for the first time you'll be met with a short tutorial that goes over what's changed with this tutorial also accessible in the menu should you wish to replay it. As for other changes, it was revealed that the weapon placement restrictions are no longer in place meaning players are now free to position tables and ladders wherever they like rather than being restricted to placing them in set positions. Also in relation to weapons, Aaron confirmed that the weapons will now take visible damage when used as this feature which could be seen ever so briefly in the recent announced trailer will see steel chairs begin to bend and break with the same being said for kendo sticks which are said to now crack and break into pieces. So there's a few new bits of information on the changes that are coming to gameplay, let me know what you make of them in the comments and if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with all the latest news on WWE 2K22 please do hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss out on future videos. Until next time though, thank you so much for watching this video, have yourself an awesome day.
and I'll catch you later. 